Hey everybody, welcome back to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady, and today's pattern we have for you is the Mayor's Mini Leech. This is an awesome pattern from um, Guide and Fly Tire here in Colorado, Land and Mayor. It's a great attractor pattern, but can also be fished as a super realistic option as well, uh, depending on what kind of color options you do and uh, variations that are interested. It's an Umqua Feather Merchants pattern. It comes in a few varieties. The one we're doing today is his traditional mini leech, which is on the Scud style hook. We're doing the Daiichi 1130 versus the newer updated version that they have from Umqua. Uh, they do it in a jigged version as well. So a couple different aspects to the fly there, depending on what you need, whether it be a lighter kind of fluttery pattern, which is what we're gonna be doing today, versus that jig pattern, which is gonna have some tungsten bead on it and weighted to help get down into the zone uh, when you're fishing a little bit deeper in some different situations there. So pretty simple to, pattern to tie overall. We have our hook set in our vise. Again, that's the Daiichi 1130. Doing this in a size 14 today. Commercially, it's tied in a 14 and a 16, typically. So all we're gonna do is take our thread and I'm using a Vivis 14 knot. This is the rusty brown color which is gonna be a nice match to the pine squirrel we're gonna be using on this fly. So we'll go ahead and start that with our locking wraps here and get our thread secured. And then we'll work on back to where we're gonna tie in that first material. And these first materials will just be our underbody. So I'm gonna start first off with a little bit of gold wire and this is the small gauge I'm using today. This really is just for durability of the fly. So we'll go ahead and secure that to the side of our hook shank, keeping a clean profile as we go. And then we'll come in with our next material. This is gonna be the under flash to the fly. This is a little bit of Mylar tinsel I'm using. Depending on what color variations you're doing, you can change this up a little bit. Usually when you're doing a black, it's black on black. Some cool purple versions out there and kind of a lot of options that you can play with. So we're just gonna secure that down. You can see this Mylar tinsel is dual sided. One side is gold, the other side is silver. So I'm gonna tie the silver side facing up so that when I go to wrap it, the gold will actually be the accent color that we get. And we'll walk that right on down that hook shank. I like to go a little ways down to add some curvature to this pattern before we walk on back up and prepare to wrap that in. And in order to do so, I'll go ahead and do a half hitch on it. Keep everything locked in place. Keep that thread from unspooling on me. Throw that on our bobbin cradle. And then we can go ahead and wrap our tinsel. So you can see that silver side is that side that I'm gonna lay downward, keeping the gold showing. And just some nice tight touching wraps, covering up all of our thread. as we go. And we'll work our way up. Again, just making sure we're covering that whole hook shank up to the front, leaving ourselves a little bit of room, about a hook eye in length. That bobbin cradle out of the way. Daiichi hook's an awesome hook because it's offset a little bit, really helping with those hookups. And we'll just create a small little thread base here, clip out our excess mylar, and then we can bring that wire up. That wire is really just for durability. You get some teeth on this fly and they can break your tinsel off down there. So. 
or helps to kind of keep it together. That from slipping on me there. And then we can spin out that excess wire. There we are. Now we are ready for our pine squirrel. So we'll work back to where we're gonna tie that in. I like tying in the pine squirrel a few hook eyes back. And that'll leave us room for our ostrich, which will be the final material. So this is the pine squirrel. We're using the micro strips on the mini leech here. And I'm gonna just kind of clean off a little bit of this hair from the tip. Give myself kind of a nice flat hide to tie in there. So we'll position that where we want it. Do a few quick securing wraps and then fix it down and create a nice thread base for our ostrich. We're just gonna leave this hanging on back. We're gonna go ahead and trim it. I trim mine to be about three lengths in hook shanks as you go back. And again, we're gonna trim this. You can kind of pull the hair out of the way so you don't trim any excess material and trim it at a point again. And we're ready for the final piece, the ostrich, which is a great material. Come off the plume here and just strip some of the barbels off of the quill for a nice clean tie-in point. Sit that on the side of our hook shank, secure it in place. And then we'll take our thread on up. Try to ease our transition here, make it wrap nice and smoothly. Gonna half hitch that again. It's an awesome little attractor fly. Fishing it in a lot of different scenarios, still water, tail waters, free stones. Bring a lot of success. Once we have that secured, we'll go ahead and wrap it. Palmer it forward, creating a nice collar. And go ahead and capture that off. and trim out our excess. And give her a nice whip finish. If you haven't fished the mini leech, definitely give it a shot. It can be a great fly in tough situations when matching the hatch isn't quite getting it done for you. About our thread here. Anything we may have trapped in there, 